Hi, have you ever contemplated what is the meaning of life? It goes through all of our heads at one time or another and I probably more than most have spent a long time on the cushion contemplating this question and as an engineer what I feel is that if there is a meaning of life it should be simple because there's a beauty in simplicity. So I have, I guess in my own head, boiled down the essence to what we're all here for into a goal, a rule and a secret. For me, there's an eloquence in those three. And if you're interested, then please hold on and stay with this video and let's talk about what is the essence, according to Peter Radcliffe, of the meaning of life. So who's with me? Who wants to know? Put your hands up or seeing as I can't see you, instead maybe give this video a like or put a comment below if you're interested in finding out what, from my point of view, is the essence of the meaning of life. So let's jump in. The first is the goal. And when we think about what everyone's here and what everyone's chasing, you know people are chasing money, friendship, uh, abundance, and maybe sensual pleasures, holidays, that sort of thing. So we're chasing all of these things in life, but what is the, uh, I guess, thing that ties all of those things? What's the foundation? And it is simply happiness. At the end of the day, whatever we do in life, we are chasing that elusive goal of happiness. And we think that by getting more things or more friends, that will give us more happiness. So for me, that is what the goal that we're all here for is about, is happiness. Now, of course, we could go into that because some of the things that we think are going to give us happiness don't necessarily end in the long-term happiness. Whereas what we would say with meditation is the bliss of just being present in the present moment is possibly the highest state of happiness you can have. But at the end of the day, it's still the same thing. We are all here to try to find the highest amount of happiness, or as the Dalai Lama says, all beings want happiness and want to avoid suffering, which is a way the same thing. So that brings us to what is the rule? Well, for me, of course, the rule is that as we all want happiness, then the rule is not to bring suffering on other people. In other words, not to interfere with anyone else's right to find their own happiness. And that's just the simple rule that you have to follow, is you can do anything you want to find your own happiness, as long as you don't interfere in other people's right to find their happiness. And at the moment, there's some protests on about the um, uh, transgender people, gay and lesbians. And from my point of view, um, they finding their happiness doesn't impinge on me a bit. I know that there's religious groups that feel that that's not right, but you know, who cares? They deserve their own happiness just as we do. And as long as they don't impinge on other people's happiness, which they're not, if they find a, a great partner, then for me, they are finding their own happiness. Like that, as long as we don't hurt anybody else, then we have every right to find our happiness however we want to do that. So that is the goal of life and then the rule that we have to follow in life. Now, what's the secret? This is probably the, the uh, key part or the hidden part. And the secret for me is that long-term happiness is about or <clears throat> is best brought about by helping others. So the highest form of happiness that you can find is helping others. And that's the secret. It's a secret that many of us know in our hearts and many of us talk about, but often in real life, we tend to be greedy and, and try to get things for ourselves. So that is the secret and of course that ties the two previous ones together. We want happiness, we also mustn't um, uh, stop people from finding their own happiness, but ironically the highest form of happiness we can find 
is simply to help others in their own pursuit of their happiness. And I think as a general rule, the goal, the rule and the secret are a beautiful encapsulation for me about what is the meaning of life. So I'd love to hear your comments below and I'd love to start a conversation with anybody to see if there's a better way or a more simple way to put the meaning of life. Okay, thank you very much.